Hey guys, Mr. Vickery here, and today we're doing science test prep, scientific investigation and experimentation. We've got red clay bricks. I broke out the red just for this problem. Have a density of approximately 2,000 kilograms per meter cubed. So we're not, this is nothing fancy here. These are the red clay bricks that you would see anywhere in the world. Made out of clay, they're pretty dense and heavy. They're saying if I have uh, a meter cubed of these, which is quite a large amount, they have a mass of 2,000 kilograms per every meter cubed. Pretty dense stuff, pretty heavy. Air, on the other hand, has this density of one kilogram per meter cubed. Not very dense. Air is very light. I'm sensing trick question here. Remember, this is test prep. So which of the following has the lowest mass? So it's going to give us four options. One of these is going to have the lowest mass. They're going to immediately get you to think that some volume of air has the lowest mass. I'm here to tell you that it may not be that way. So let's see what we have. So two meters cubed of brick. So in your head, you got to think if I had two times whatever this is, so make it easy. Two times 2,000 gives me 4,000 kilograms of bricks. We don't know the answer yet. Four meters cubed of bricks would be four times this. Gives me um, four times 2,000 or 8,000 kilograms of bricks. So lowest mass, so far A could be a choice, but B definitely isn't a choice, okay? Letter C, 6,000 meters cubed of air. Basically, you're taking 6,000 of whatever this is, 6,000 times 1, that's going to give me 6,000 kilograms of air. So that actually is greater than what we have here in mass-wise. It's a ton of air, figuratively speaking. It's a lot of air, so 6,000 kilograms. Long story short, if we have enough air, it does have enough mass to overcome the mass of these bricks. And then the 10,000 here, 10,000 times, we're going to have 10,000 kilograms of air. So the lowest mass is actually, as I suspected, two meters cubed of bricks, even though they are very dense, but it does matter how much air we have.